I shall do it. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered Father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. The urn is nothing but a legend. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. Ask and be on your way. Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. A revered father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? Who are you? You're not from Haven. No, I've never heard that name. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look. What are you doing? That's private! Perhaps I could have a try at that. More enemies ahead!
We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far? What sort of welcome do you expect when you break into our homes and kill one of us? You see, this is why we do not like visitors. They are not like us. They will do us harm if we let them. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. More enemies ahead! you. They... they sent you to finish it. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh. The leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. feels much better. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked. But I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. All right. What is on your mind? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. 
They call themselves the Disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she were still alive. I thought so at first, but I'm not so sure anymore. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. How do you know? An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? I'm sure he'll be there when I return to Denerim. Cure Arl Eamon. Is the Arl sick? What happened? Loghain? Why? Oh, I have been so occupied with the Urn. I've missed so much. I certainly hope the Ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. Anyway, that can be discussed once we actually have the ashes, and the Arl is better. Yes, of course. How could I forget? Eirik said they were ambushed, some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. I see. She must have been desperate. She couldn't have known she was sending them to their deaths. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? So run along and get that medallion, then. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show you. It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Good. Help me up here. I'll try not to slow us down. See if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated just like this. And there, a key to open the way. There are very few keys like this left in the world, but I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. I'm sorry, boy. Ah, 
I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Ann. Ah, it's my job. Just be careful, that's all I ask. The temple is perilous. I'll be right here if you need me. Now I need something to write on. Make his breath. Look at it all. I shall do it. As you like. Old books. You think any of those might still be readable? I shall do it. Allow me. I could do that for you.
It is begun. Allow me. I could do that for you. I'll do hmm. it. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Right hmm. away. Perhaps I could have a try at that. I shall do it. Allow me. I could do that for you. Allow me. I could do that for you. I shall. I shall do it.
Yes, my friend. Hmm. And perhaps I could. Very well. begun. It shall be done.
I could have a try at that. say.
Stop! You will go no further! You do not have the right to demand my name. You have defiled our temple. You have spilled the blood of the faithful and slaughtered our young. No more! You will tell me now, intruder, why you have done all this. Why have you come here? I am Father Colgrim, leader and guide to the disciples of Andraste. Kill us, and you will face Andraste. She will smell our blood, and the blood of her children on you, and her wrath will be great. She is so much more! She is even more glorious than all the old gods combined! The prophet Andraste has overcome death itself, and has returned to her faithful in a form more radiant than you can imagine. Not even the Tevinter Imperium could hope to slay her now. What hope do you have? They are still within this temple, but why do we need ashes when we serve the risen Andraste in all her glory? So you are after the ashes. Perhaps there is a way for you to make up for your desecration of our home and temple. It may be because I believe in second chances. All of us stumble through the darkness before being found and shown the light. Perhaps through Andraste's mercy, her greatest enemy will become her greatest champion. The ashes you seek reside atop this mountain, watched by an immortal guardian who refuses to accept the truth of the Risen Lady. Now the ashes prevent Holy Andraste from fully realizing her new form. They are a remnant of her past incarnation, and she cannot move on as long as they exist. The Beloved needs to reclaim the ashes, to make them her own again. All it would take is a drop of her blood. Blood carries power, strength, knowledge. Through it, all the power that is held in the ashes will be returned to Our Lady. The Guardian has foiled all our attempts to reach the urn. He keeps what power remains from the true Andraste. He knows the Disciples, and we cannot touch him, for he draws his strength from the ashes themselves. But you could deliver Our Lady what is rightfully hers. I could just imagine the Grand Cleric if she were here. Her head would explode, I kid you not. What is this talk of blood and power? And he thinks Andraste is reborn. It is preposterous. Ugh, I do not like this. The rewards for performing such a service would be great, indeed. The task is simple. I give you a vial of the holy Andraste's blood, and you empty the vial into the ashes. Whatever magic was held in the ashes will be undone, and our great lady will be freed from the shackles of her past life! I don't know if I like the idea of us helping this Colgrim. Once that is done, you will have earned your place as our honored brother. You only need a small pinch for that. The rest of the power contained in the ashes must be returned to Andraste. There is a great power contained in blood. Through Andraste's guidance, we have learned to harness it. It can be yours, in exchange for a trivial task. A vial of blood emptied into the urn. That is all I ask. I will not make this offer again! 
then we cannot allow you to leave here. To arms, my brethren! And Draste will grant us victory! Yeah! <laughs>